In this problem, we're told about two electrically charged particles that are at some distance apart, and at some point they're going to move, and that causes the force between them to have tripled. So we're asked to find the new distance. So the important thing to understand about this problem is the inverse square law. So for electrostatic forces, the force between two charged particles is inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. Or perhaps another way to write this, rewriting algebraically, is that the square of the distance between the two particles is inversely proportional to the electrostatic force between them. So what's happening in this problem is that we're told that after the particles move, the force between them triples. So we're going to add a 3 in front of the force. The force is tripling. So that tells us that the distance between the particles is inversely proportional to the square root of 3 times the force. So if the force triples, then the distance between the two particles has been reduced by a factor of radical 3. So the new distance between the two particles is going to be equal to the original distance between them divided by the square root of 3. So we're going to take the distance they gave us 6.52 centimeters, divide this by the square root of 3, put this into a calculator, and we find a new distance of 3.76 centimeters. So the two particles have gotten closer together, which makes sense, because when we have an electrostatic force, that force gets stronger as the particles get closer together. So because the problem tells us that the force is increasing, we should have expected from the very beginning that we'd get a smaller distance for the new one. And sure enough, that's exactly what happened. So that is it for this problem. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please consider subscribing, as that'll help me out in making more videos just like this. If you have a request or a question, leave a comment down below, and I'll do my best to help you out as best as I can. And that's all for this video. I hope you have a lovely day. Bye-bye.